the uh, simple cart is to uh, add our includes to our index file. So right here is my index file set up with uh, everything that's really just the, the minimum that we need. Um, the includes, the first one, uh, before we include the actual simple cart JavaScript, we need to include jQuery. Directly after that, we're including our simple cart. And then afterwards, we're including what we're using for our current theme, um, so for our page that we're doing specifically. Um, and then this is just where the code's going to go, somewhere in this container. Uh, if you take a look over at the simple cart, this is the basics that it comes with. I'm really not going to touch on any of what's in there. It just kind of makes this run the way that it runs. Um, when you take a look at the theme.js, uh, this is where we're going to actually do our own JavaScripting. And there's really not a whole lot that you need to include to get it to do some really basic functionality. Um, so the basics that we're going to start out with is just uh, declare a simple cart here. Um, inside of that, we need to tell it how we're going to check out. Um, that's pretty much it. Once we do this, the thing will run. Um, we'll get into a little bit later uh, how we're going to, I guess, uh, individualize this for our page and, and make it work exactly the way we want it to and style it the way we want and stuff like that. But for now, this will actually allow the, the thing to run. Um, then obviously with our index like this, there's nothing in here, so nothing will run. If I hop into up into my Firefox here. Um, there's nothing on the index, nothing showing up. Um, from here, uh, simple cart is actually it is very simple. Uh, the first thing that we're going to need to do to get it to do anything is add, um, they call it shelf items, so something that you're going to actually sell on your page. Um, and I'm, you can see that I'm showing both, uh, both my HTML pages I am showing currently without any um, CSS. So there's no styling, so I want you to see what it's going to look like just out of the box, and then we can add some styling to it and show you how to really tweak it and make it how you want it to look. So the first thing here is we're going to just take this chunk of code here, and I'm just going to plop it right in. And what this is doing is this class right here is actually telling Simple Cart that this is going to be a shelf item. Everything inside this div is, is part of our shelf item. Um, and from here, uh, this h3 uh, can be whatever you want, but the class um, as item name is, is what we need it to say. Um, and this is telling it what the item that we're selling is called. And everything that you put in between these tags is actually going to tell our JavaScript exactly what, we're, what we need it to know. So this right here will actually do everything we need it to do. Um, this is just an input field for how many we want. It's a quantity field. Um, the price right here is something that we set. Whatever I put inside this paragraph here, uh, whether I say $1 or $5, it doesn't matter. It's going to it's gonna know what the cost of the item is. I don't have to change this anywhere else. It's just, just right here. Um, and then this item add right here, um, this is just the link that will actually add this item to our cart based on our, whatever the quantity is. So if I save that and pull up the uh, index right here, you can see it's it's not styled to be super pretty, but it it's there. Everything is as we put it in.